Reform Devotion number 30 of 365, The Cross and the Crown, from Charity and Its Fruits by Jonathan Edwards. Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? Luke 9, 23 through 25. If we are not willing to close with religion, notwithstanding all the difficulties attending it, we shall be overwhelmed with shame at last. So Christ expressly teaches us. His language is, For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, lest haply, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, sitteth not down first, and consulteth whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassage, and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you, that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Luke chapter 14, verses 28 through 33. The sufferings that are in the way of our duty are among the difficulties that attend religion. They are part of the cost of being religious. He, therefore, that is not willing to meet this cost never complies with the terms of religion. He is like the man that wishes his house was built but is not willing to meet the cost of building it, and so, in effect, refuses to build it. He that does not receive the gospel with all its difficulties does not receive it as it is proposed to him. He that does not receive Christ with his cross as well as his crown does not truly receive him at all. It is true that Christ invites us to come to him to find rest and to buy wine and milk, but then he also invites us to come and take up the cross and that daily that we may follow him. And if we come only to accept the former, we do not in truth accept the offer of the gospel, for both go together, the rest and the yoke, the cross and the crown. And it will signify nothing that in accepting only the one, we accept what God never offered to us. They that receive only the easy part of Christianity and not the difficult at best are but almost Christians, while they that are holy Christians receive the whole of Christianity and thus shall be accepted and honored and not cast out with shame at the last day.